Hello everyone, I am about to do the nursery uh, tour. Finally I've got it done, got everything I needed from Amazon, Target, baby shower. So I am ex so excited to um, share it with you. The room is not uh, fully done. I know I'm like, it's done, it's not done. It's done to the amount I'm gonna get done for now. I still wanna do some other stuff. You'll see a lot of the walls are empty, but the majority of everything we need is in here. So let's get started. Boopity boop. Sorry, I'm using my uh, T4i camera today. So anyways, I have this little thing on her door. Quiet, please, nap time. Okay, so to the very right here, I have this really cute frame my friend made for me and it is whoops sorry scripture train up a child in the way she should go even when she is old she will not depart from it um she put the she instead of the he but um yeah it's so cute and it has coral gray whites with the little black flower and then to the right there i have this I got from a baby shower and I just wanted that as some type of decoration in the baby's room. I really love the colors, uh, the violet, the greens, the yellow. So whenever you walk right into her room, she has like all this wall space. So I was like, eh, let's put those up. Eventually I might do like a hat rack or something, but for now this is perfect. So when you look straight in, this is her room. Let me go all the way back. Um. So I will start with that with Sophia's. It's just a little bouncer chair. Um, I could put her in that wherever I am in the house. Right now it is here. And then these little balls I got actually from Sophia's baby shower. And I have just stored them and I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for our new baby girl's room. Um, Sophia has pink in her room like that. Sorry, my camera is focusing and unfocusing she does have pink in her room like that um but i'm gonna be doing a lot of other stuff in soph's room so we put those in here and i think they look perfect just up in the corner and then we have the changing table which was a huge <laughs> stress for me because we didn't have a changing table and they were pricey but we got this one at wayfair for a great price it was on clearance um, and I believe it was around like 150 and I'm very happy with it because I love how it could double as a dresser later for her. And so here's what I have up here. I did get this at, um, I believe it was Pier 1 Imports. I believe it was around 30 bucks and I absolutely loved it. Cause I'm like, you know, I'm going to put some of my, um, my diaper uh, covers here, so if I just need to grab one, size newborn, and then these are all size one here. And then I did get this uh, Burt's Bee, it's a bath. Um, it's just washcloths and the wash. And it's more decoration for now. I know it's eventually gonna come down and I could put more diapers or something up there, but I kinda wanted to fill that space with something other than cloth diapers. Um, so I don't know, I might eventually put all cloth diapers once I start using that. I just thought it was a cute display for now. And then I have some of her headbands hanging. Some of these colors I just really loved. And I was like, let's, I love flowers and I love hanging things. Um, eventually I might put her initials here hanging. Um, yeah, so, and I was thinking of having that little outfit I had hanging right when you walked in there, but it didn't look good with the flowers. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. So the theme of this room, um, I would have to say is more of just girly colors, corals, um, purples, pinks, there's even green in there, um, and then white and gray. So I didn't really have a theme um, yet. Yeah, and then kind of just cute like uh, wildlife, like we have this cute zebra, which I love. I got from uh, Baby Town, and then her bed I'll show you in just a second. The bed is actually Burt's Bees, and it's bees. So I was thinking of inquiring like little soft pink bees in here. I thought that'd be adorable. So the theme is just kind of a few different things. Um, and this was like 20 bucks, and I was like, I shouldn't get it, but I had to because it was really soft and cuddly, and I want to keep it on the changing table. So over here... Um, and I'm going to make my own video on this. This is a Prince Lionheart. This is one of my absolute favorite things I got. 
um, for the baby <laughs> and it's a cloth. It's a warmies warmer so if you are going to be doing cloth diapering and you want to do cloth wipes, I like seriously fell in love with this. It was 28 something at target.com, might be on Amazon too, but it is so cute. I mean it's like when I got it in the mail it's really big so it it's really big. It's bigger than my munchkin as far as width goes. It's a lot wider and when you open this it doesn't have um, the part you could pull the wipes through. If that's important to you, you might not want to do this one. For me it's not really that important because I'm doing warmies, I'm doing cloth um, wipes. But it comes with these really, really soft, um, I think they're bamboo and rayon and cotton. And they're so soft, which I need to pre-wash these. And then it comes, I haven't plugged it in or anything because I don't need to until the baby comes. Um, comes with a charger and also the It Fresh, which if you put this sponge, you wet it and keep it on the bottom, it keeps the wipes from browning. And it also keeps, um, yeah, any browning or burning or anything like that. And it keeps them fresh. And those last three months, so you just have to replace every three months. So anyways, uh, the Prince Lionheart, I haven't like physically used it, but as far as presentation, I absolutely love it. And then when you plug it in, I believe this lights up to the heart. I mean, how cute is that? So that is on the changing table. This goes in there too. This is what you put those little it fresh in, the little sponges. Um, and I believe people said it just helps to keep it from touching the um, wipes a little better and it keeps it more intact. So yeah, I got myself one of those. I don't know if they're necessary, but I did get it. And then I chose these um, fake flowers out at Michael's. Um, so if you're if they have like their 50% off flowers, literally go grab a few huge ones that you love and then get their little dollar, um, it says milk, it's like a little milk bottle, literally a dollar and you can like make something beautiful in your baby's room, any colors you have that's really going to bring out <clears throat> some of the colors that you want to see. Like I wanted pops of coral because the basket has coral, her cheeks have coral and her little bow, so I wanted little peaks of coral so yeah that's what I did there and then I did get this basket at Michael's too it was their 40 or 50 percent off so these were not expensive at all and I got a bigger size too so next to the changing table I have my snappies for my cloth diapers in here and nail clippers and you could get these little things at Michael's a um, couple bucks really not expensive but it makes everything look organized and pretty cute Everyone online was saying the Nose Frida is amazing, so I got one. It's supposed to help with your baby's boogies. <laughs> it helps to take them out, so um, I got one of those. Don't have it open yet. And then I have Q-tips, and I put it in this. Um, I keep a lot of old bottles. I, uh, I use glass jars, I mean. So I highly recommend that. Like I use this. This was jam, and then you clean it. You sanitize it very well and then take off like the back label and it's really cute I, I don't know I was like this is such a cute little jar and I want to reuse it so I'm using it for q-tips for when baby's here and I need q-tips and then I have alcohol for her umbilical cord stump but instead of q-tips like in a baggie or something reuse your jars jam jars any cute jars you have I think that is really a great idea that I came across and then I also have um little remedies next to here sorry my camera is not focusing like I would like little remedies um, so nose breaks little babies their nostrils are tiny so you want to make sure that their nose is clear of any debris and then also I got this on Amazon if it'll focus 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 it is sorry era organics honey buns this is a healing bomb and I'm so sorry this isn't focusing let me see if it will nope it's gonna be stubborn sorry I don't know there okay better so honey buns and this is a healing balm I have not used it it's organic um, I usually like products like this I can also use on um, cradle cap diaper rash everything in between so it's a anything type of moisturizer and so I love to have that next to the changing table too so, pack all the stuff back in there. Okay, 
So now the actual changing table and what I have in here <clears throat> to the left, I have my newborn pre-folds here. So these are what I'm gonna be cloth diapering her with. Um, yeah, so these are diapers. It's literally like just having, if you had disposable diapers, that's what you would put here. I'm using these, so that's what I use. Um, the doublers are extra um, absorption if I need to put more in the diaper. We have her newborn workhorse diapers. So these are like these, but they're already like in diaper form for dad or late nights when I'm too tired. <laughs> um, so I think I, I have some of those in my room too because I have my own, I have a video on what I keep in my room when she's going to be sleeping in there. And then I do have this extra changing pad cover. It is Burt's Bees and it's um, again going with that bumblebee theme that I want to incorporate in here somewhere. It's soft pink bees. I didn't want like yellow bees. I wanted just the bees, but um, more neutral colors, not like bright yellow or anything. So I absolutely love that. So I could change that out. If she makes a mess, I'll have an extra backup. And then I do have this wipes case and I have a bunch of my cloth diapers in there. So this is an old one because um, this is my first baby. I'm actually um, cloth diapering. So I did have an extra wipes case. So I just have a whole bunch of extra wipes in there because I bought a ton of them. And then in the next one, I have um, the next size up. I think this is a size small, so bigger size diapers. Again, more wipes. And then I have bigger sizes. I think this is a medium, and then some medium workhorses too. So I am having a lot of those. Okay. Oh, I might have to, I'm gonna make this a two-parted video because my camera is flashing, so. Be right back.